Hello everyone. So here in this problem we have to evaluate limit x tends to 0 square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2 minus x whole upon x. Now before starting with the solution if you will observe the given function then it is algebraic function and whenever we have algebraic function in limit then we start with direct method and if direct method fails it means if we get 0 upon 0 by direct method then we look for some other method to evaluate the limit so first of all i will start with direct method so here i will assume this given limit as l so it is equals to limit x tends to 0 square root of 2 plus x minus square root of 2 minus x whole upon x so by direct method we will substitute the 0 at x in the given function. So therefore, L will become square root of 2 plus 0 minus square root of 2 minus 0 whole upon 0. So now, square root of 2 plus 0 is root 2 minus this is again root 2 upon 0 and it is equal to 0 upon 0. So, whenever we get 0 upon 0, we call it as indeterminate form. And whenever we get indeterminate form or 0 upon 0 by direct method, we say direct method fails. So, here direct method fails. Now, if direct method fails, then we have to look for some other method by using which we can find out the value of this limit. So, let's observe the given function once again. So, if you will observe the question, then here in the numerator, we have two square roots and in between, we have a negative sign. So, because of this, we cannot apply any factorization formula. We cannot find out the factors. We do not have any formula to find out the factors of the square root terms. But yes, if I multiply these square root terms with the conjugate, then we can apply the method of rationalization. So here, by applying the rationalization, that is multiplying this term with the conjugate in the numerator as well as in denominator, we can remove the square root. And after removing the square root, uh, we'll see which method we have to apply. So here, to understand what is rationalization, let's see here. So, whenever we have root of A minus root of B, then that time in rationalization, we multiply this term with root of A plus root of B. In the numerator, as well as in the denominator. Similarly, if we have term root of a plus root of b in the question, then that time we multiply with the term root of a minus root of b in the numerator as well as in the denominator. It means in rationalization, you have to multiply this term with the term which is opposite in sign. So, let's apply the method of rationalization. So, here I will say by method of rationalization, we will get L as limit x tends to 0 root of 2 plus x minus root of 2 minus x whole upon x. This is the original term. Now I am applying rationalization. So I will multiply this bracket with root of 2 plus x plus root of 2 minus x. Similarly, in the denominator, I will multiply with the term root of 2 plus x plus root of 2 minus x. Now, after rationalization, 
if you'll observe the numerator then in numerator you can see a form that is a plus b and a minus b so here these two terms are same i can consider it as a whereas these two terms are same i can consider them as b and we have sign plus and minus so here we can apply one formula of algebra that is a square minus b square so by applying this formula over here we will get limit x tends to 0 root of 2 plus x is a the whole square minus root of 2 minus x the whole square that is b square in the denominator x in the bracket root of 2 plus x plus root of 2 minus x now we will get l as limit x tends to 0 so here this square root and this square will be cancelled and we will get 2 plus x minus here we will get 2 minus x whole upon x into root of 2 plus x plus root of 2 minus x now after expanding the second bracket here we will get 2 as negative because of this minus sign so this plus 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled similarly this minus x will become plus x so we will get x plus x that is 2x in the numerator so here we will get limit x tends to 0 2x upon x into root of 2 plus x plus root of 2 minus x and here we can cancel x term from numerator as well as from denominator and now for the remaining terms we will again apply the direct method so therefore by direct method we will get l as 2 upon root of 2 plus 0 plus root of 2 minus 0 so here i am applying direct method and this will become root 2 plus root 2 it means 2 times root 2 so we will get l as 2 upon 2 root 2 so i can cancel 2 and 2 and we can get answer as 1 upon root 2 hence the value of given limit is 1 upon root 2 thank you